to talk about the biggest lie you caught somebody in. Man. Okay? You know, y'all be out here lying. For all real. right? And getting lied to. But Man. have you caught somebody in a huge lie? Man, the list is long. So many people just be lying for no reason. Oh, let me say, okay. Bella. A certain someone, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> a certain someone recently, kind of recent, said that they was single mm-hmm. and, you know, they was just ready to go all in and, you know, things of Be that nature. You. Right. Okay. So coming to find out, he was in a whole household. Living with somebody else. Yes, living with somebody else, Um, whole situation. And then I end up finding out because we end up getting on the phone talking about everything. So he kind of went into hiding and eventually was done in the light, came to the What's was done in the, the dark, dark came to the light, mm-hmm. and I found out the truth. And so, the truth was, he was living with somebody sure else and was, had a whole so. other situation. Yeah, and just didn't know how to keep it a hundred. And the thing is, when you honest about things, whether it's good or bad, it's best that you be real. Right? You've you know? been a side piece. No, I'm playing. No. <laughs> I'm playing you. I mean, it depends, you know, <laughs> for, for a certain uh, feet. Well, let's no, hear your guys' stories. 800-292-5150. Rio, how are you? I'm good, Queen. How you doing today? I'm good, thank you. And, um, of course, Chell is here. We want to hear about the biggest lie you caught somebody in. All right, so, like I said, it was one of my exes from years ago. And we had been dating for a while. So, you know, it was kind of consistent at that point in time. Mm-hmm. And she told me, so, when you get off, don't come over because I'm all of a sudden I'm about to go run some errands with my mom. I didn't think too much of it. I'm like, all right, cool, just call me later on. You know, we'll link up later. So something told me to go ahead and uh, go see mom real quick. <laughs> so I slide by mom's house. I see her car in the driveway. Uh-oh. I'm like, uh, well, maybe they got back early. So I call her. She don't answer. So I pull up, you know, knock on the door. Ooh, mom ooh. answered the door. Mm. I'm like, hey, mom, so-and-so here. She was like, uh, nah. And she had, like, this look on her face. I was like, did y'all uh, get everything you needed from the store? Did you help me with the bags or anything? Well, I'm sorry, I ain't left the house all day, boo. What you talking Uh-oh. about? Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Caught. <laughs> I was like, all right, my, don't worry about it. Well, just let her know I came by. I'll see you later. She's like, all right, so you sure you don't want to eat? Uh, I ain't hungry right now, but I'm good. <laughs> no appetite. No appetite whatsoever. Mm-mm-mm. So what happened after that? So, well, I pull her off, and I'm, you know, I call her again. She still didn't answer. You know why? She so was I doing her. her. Yeah, I know why. <laughs> I know exactly why. So I called her best friend. Best friend told me where she was at. Uh-uh. He like a detective like, for real. He was doing too much <laughs> anyway. Look, no, you just got. I, I'm like a Detroit cop. You just got to know. <laughs> I'll tell you everything you need to know. You just go to the right person. Uh-huh. <laughs> no investigation needed. Okay. She was like, yeah, she had to go pick up her son. I'm like, oh, okay, that's what's up. Uh-oh. I was like, you know what time she was going over there? About nine this morning. Damn. Damn. Nine, she, she was with like, her baby daddy. Up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it does. But the whole thing was, that wasn't even a situation where she had to you know, lie about. Like, that's your child's father or whatever. But yeah. That's uh, why I stopped dealing with women who had kids because it was just. It was more of the story. Fun. Unless the kids is grown, but, right? Well. You know. Yeah, I, I'm not that old. Your kid's growing. It's probably, it's probably not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Well, it left him scarred. Right. He's like, hey, you got a kid? 10 nope. years later. Mm-hmm. But, you know, she was doing what she wanted to do, and you was doing a lot. You know, going to the mama house, going to the friend house, you know, like. He knew what it was. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> it is what it is. Hey, Trav. Yeah. What's up, Yeezy? It's me and Chella. Hey. Yeah, let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Look, Yee. Mm-hmm. Do you change your start time from 10 a.m. to 9.50? Because I start work at 10, and I'll be needing that call in. Uh, okay, we'll make sure we take your call bright and early. <laughs> but I want to tell y'all about a lie that I caught my ex in. Okay, tell tell us. So when I started to break up with him one time, he started crying and stuff, and this man told me that he had cancer, right? Oh. And <laughs> I'm sitting there really believing he had cancer and stuff. So I'm talking to his mom one day. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm like, you know, have you been to the doctors with him and stuff? She's like, doctors for what? <laughs> I'm like, because he said he got cancer. She's like, that boy ain't got no cancer. <laughs> so he oh, lied. Wow. To me, and have you thinking that he had cancer? Why would he lie about having cancer, Trev? Because he was just a liar, yo. He was just 
cry and just make up stuff so nobody will leave him and stuff. He used to say he's going to kill himself. And mm. Lord bless him. I hope he's doing good in his life. And then you feel days. bad, though, because when somebody says that, you like, if something happened, and you, right. you know, you'd be feeling like, man, I should have It made missed. me stay with him. Yeah. People do that. They be yeah. trying to get you to stay. Yeah. I had a few say they was going to kill themselves. You did? Good I always, to talk to y'all. always do that. Thank you, Chav. Yeah, that's nothing to play with either when people say that. Like, y'all got to know. Mm-mm. Yeah. Hey, Ebony. Hey, Angela E. I listen to y'all every morning. Thank hey. you. Thank you. Tell us here. <laughs> and listen, so tell us about the biggest lie someone ever told you. Okay, this guy I've been in a relationship for 12 years. He never tell me none of this since we got together, right, y'all? Trying to find out this guy been married. He mm. tell me about none of this stuff now. Ooh. And he been gay. Come to find out he been gay. Messing with a lot of guys, no females, but guys. Wait, so mm. he was married to a woman for 12 years? No, he been with me for 12 years. Oh, he was years. with you for 12 wow. years. But he never tell me about the wife until we got together. Oh, my gosh. Mm. And so how did you find yeah. out he was messing with guys? It's like, it's just kept on being rumors and rumors, and everybody kept on telling me this, telling me that, and then come to find out, come to find out he is messing with guys. Been around a whole bunch of guys, no females, no nothing. It's just a whole bunch of guys. And I've been trying to get out of this relationship, but he won't leave me alone. Just keep on being with me. Wait, and so you still with him? Yes. Well, right boo, you got to switch but it that ain't, up. But it's not nothing like that. We, oh don't, we don't sleep together or nothing like that. We don't do none of that. So you are with him, but you're not sleeping with him? But no. So ma'am, what's the purpose? At this point, is <laughs> like, what's going on? I mean, I'm just ready to move on. And I'm ready for you, you to move You need to on. move on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Starts well, today. Yeah, it's a, it's a new day. <laughs> Yeah, and, I, and he won't he won't leave me alone at all. Well, it's you like he won't get away, and you accepting him back every time. Not really, okay. not really, because oh, I be doing me. I be doing me. Oh my God, this is a mess. And my right. kids be doing me. Well, thank, thank you for calling. <laughs> 